Today we're going to be looking at coins that are picked up from a dealer at a recent coin show. That dealer specify, or works specifically with foreign coins. Uh, it goes to the name of uh, Robert E. Jones. Uh, his business card, though, is he does have his email. And uh, the website is just, I think, for the uh, ANA, just to, as a link for them. So these are the coins that I picked up from here. The first dozen of these or so are coins that were uh, really cheap that I've decided to add to my uh, trade pile. Now, uh, this is one of those foreign dealers who knows exactly what he has and prices them accordingly. But these are some things that you can find for 10 to 20 cents that... Uh, I think are things you don't see very often and uh, make for good trade pieces. And this first one is just five cents. This is going to be from Zambia. It is a one Nagui and features an aardvark. Now, the reason that it probably was priced at only five cents was uh, there are some spots on this side. But uh, definitely like that one. And it's KM9A because they, uh, I, I think it became, went from copper to a copper plated steel uh, around 1982. Uh, the next one's in uh, one of these old school flips where it's uh, sticky and so you just kind of stick it together and hope that it stays together and it hopes that it lines up right. And this one didn't. You can see that. This one didn't really line up the way you wanted it to, but it's from the Philippines. It's going to be a 10 centimos. I tried to write the KM number on here for 198. Didn't really show up too well, but the uh, person featured here is Francisco Baltazar. Then when we look at the back, this is a design that appeared on a lot of the Philippine coins for around the, the 60s and 70s. Next, we're going to move to a one sen aluminum coin from Japan. It's going to say year 18, the plus and then the eight is uh, the symbol that's kind of hard to see right there. So that makes this 1943. There were two different variations this year. There was a uh, thick and a thin planchet. The, uh, the thick planchet lasted a couple of years before this one, but the thin planchet was only this year. And just by looking at it, I can't tell. I, I, I don't have a scale to measure something inside of a flip, but uh, I would need, uh, and, and I've done this in the past, to take a couple of them and put them side by side, and then you can see which one's thinner. As we uh, flip this one over, we've got uh, Mount Fuji. And then the symbol for one, the symbol for the sen currency. 100 sen make up a yen. We'll move on to a 1980 coin from Kenya. 10 cents from 1980. Featuring uh, President Arap Moy. And this one's made out of nickel brass. Which, unfortunately, some of these brass coins can uh, stain pretty bad. We've got a couple of coins from uh, Lithuania. Almost all the Lithuanian coins you're going to find are from 1991. These two coins are identical. And uh, so this was, uh, they were part of the uh, former Soviet Union. And so a lot of the countries there made their own currency uh, soon after they split apart. And almost all of them uh, that I've seen from 1991 have the design that we see on the right here on the left. And then uh, just for the different uh, centos on the, the right, they've got a 1, 2, and 5 made out of aluminum. Then we get to the 10s and 20s. I think it's made out of uh, copper nickel. We've got a, uh, a soldier on horseback. And this was a design that they used before they were Soviet. So I've got a couple of older Lithuanian coins back from about the 20s or 30s that have uh, somewhat of a similar design to them. 
We're going to move to a coin from Finland. This is a five Pania. I believe Pania is their plural for Pani. They spell uh, penny with an I in the Finnish language. Coins dated 1975. Uh, this coin was made out of copper from 63 through 77, and then uh, out of aluminum from 77 through uh, 1990. And anytime you see a, a coin that says Suomen Tasa Valta, that does mean Finland. We'll look at a couple of coins from South Africa. This is a five cent coin featuring a blue crane. The South African coins today have uh, different, uh, well, the country has different recognized uh, languages, and so uh, they've been changing up the alphabets on their coins here lately, but that's not a new thing. They did it in the 60s as well. There are two different versions of this coin. This one's 67.1 because it has the English South Africa, but there's also the Afrikaans version, which says Suid Africa. have a similar coin on this 10 cent coin from 1965. This one features an aloe plant. And again is the English legend of South Africa on here. Then one more aloe 10 cent coin. This one's KM85. By this time, instead of showing the, uh, the leader on the back, they have um, the uh, South African crest, and they put both languages on one coin, so there's not going to be a different language uh, version of uh, these coins on uh, during this time. And I think the uh, the one currency with multiple languages lasted from about seventy seven to about uh, about nineteen ninety nine or so. We'll move to this coin from uh, Yugoslavia. This 50 para coin was made from, I believe, 1982 through 84. It is a reduced size of an older version of the coin that uh, went through the 70s. So Yugoslavia is another country with lots of culture, so lots of languages on here. So it has para written in uh, four different languages. And then it even has Yugoslavia written in two different languages or two different alphabets. Move to a coin from Ecuador. Most of the Ecuadorian coins that I see these days were minted in 2000, so I guess they made enough that they lasted for quite a while. Ecuador is one of those countries where they make their coins the same shape and size as United States coins. So the Ecuadorian 10 centavos coin is going to be the same size as the United States 10 cents dime. Then on the back, this one features Eugenio Espejo. We'll move on to a couple of coins from Fiji. This is the two cent coin featuring a palm fan. And the early portrait of uh, Queen Elizabeth. And then when we move up to the, the five cent coin, I think this is a boat. 
And this one's going to be Cam 51A because it's another where they changed the metal. I think it's nickel plated steel where older versions were just pure nickel. And we've got a newer portrait of the queen in 1999. So 30 years after the previous coin. We'll move on to a coin from uh, Singapore. Ten cents, featuring uh, uh, this plant. Again, another country where they have the uh, the name of the coin written in multiple alphabets, multiple languages. Has a date of 1993 in the center. A couple of lions surrounding the shield with the five stars with the I guess that's a moon pointing upwards. When you look above the date, there's a banner that's low in the middle and higher on the sides. So there is a variety on this coin, or I shouldn't say variety, but just a different version of this coin, where it is higher in the middle and lower on the sides. So it, instead of a smiley face, it makes a frowny face. And I'm not sure why they made the switch, but they made both versions of that coin in 1992 and 93 that makes for something to look out for. KM100. We'll move on to this coin from Cyprus featuring a design of uh, stylized goats. This coin is uh, KM54.3, as there are a couple of varieties. Again, different versions of the coin. This is uh, version 3, uh, made in 1996, where the leaves that go around the shield on the back here are thinner than some of the older versions. And then a couple other variations has to do with the thickness of the number on here. So the number 2 for 2 cents right there would be uh, have different levels of thickness to them. We're going to move to a uh, quite a new coin from Argentina. Coin which started in 2017. They've minted it through 2020. That's the last year that they've made these. This one is the five pesos. So they haven't changed their currency for probably about 30 years. I think it's still called the peso convertible. When we look on this side, we have a uh, kind of an inset design of a tree, and it's called the Orion tree. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but that's the, the uh, type of tree that we have featured here. And so when we flip it back over to this side, the leaf that's on here is the leaf of that Orion tree. We're going to finish with a couple of modern Panamanian coins. So Panama, like Ecuador, has coins that are the same uh, shape and size as United States coin, but their coins also are pegged to the United States currency. So five centesimos is going to be worth five U.S. cents. But since about 2000, the Panamanian five cent coin or Cinco Centesimos, uh, features Sarah Sotilla. Who apparently was a uh, feminist and someone who pushed for education law changes in uh, Panama. This is KM133.2, so the .1 version of this coin was made around 2000, uh, the early 2000s. But in 2014, they have a uh, Panama on the, the shield design on the back has one star above the eagle and below where it says Republic of, of Panama. One star for every, uh, I think they call them province, not states, but uh, there are 10 of them on here. The 10 provinces, the 10th province became a thing in 2014. So until then, 
uh, all of the, the Panamanian coins of this design on the reverse had nine stars until then. So that makes, uh, they didn't mint this coin until uh, 2017 or 18. But that uh, causes uh, a, uh, instead of giving it a new KM number, they just added the 0.2 instead of the 0.1 on this one. And then we're going to uh, finish off with a bimetallic Panamanian Balboa. And, of course, their currency is named after uh, the explorer Vasco Nunez de Balboa. This one is also a .2 on the KM number, 141.2, because this coin also has the 10 stars above the eagle, but inside the, uh, the inner ring. And so just like the last one, if you found coins older than 2014, there'd be nine stars right there. All right. Always like uh, seeing this dealer at uh, a couple of shows every year. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.